be here shortly. Oh my God, what's going on, buddy? Mr. Ross, getting ready to come back. Last time we saw you, you fell short against Harrison. What have you done event, in training camp, training camp to improve since then? We know what's on the line, the undisputed Super Bowl title. But in our co-main event. Our second um, fight and our first fight opening with, up the uh, pay-per-view. Uh, all we three of those with, fights with, are with also you know, world down, title fights. So, um, we it's rare that you get that on a pay-per-view uh, card, but no once again, we just, uh, went back we're to trying to give the uh, fights fans want to see, and that's what you'll be seeing this we Saturday as a night. Puncher. As we Last time out, things didn't kind of go your way. Will there be a switch in attack plan where you get started earlier? Do you feel like that's something that happened in the last fight that you just didn't start your offense early enough? I don't for think that was a problem, but uh, definitely something that uh, I'll be looking for in this fight. You know, starting earlier, more aggressive, but uh, I, I don't feel like it, it, it was uh, based off of my performance. You know, um, so this, this fight's going to be different, man, and I, I'm just excited to show it. I know, I know, um... You were very upset at the decision right after the fight. We haven't heard from you since then. After going back and watching it, what did you what did you think of the fight? You know, several months after uh, the Lubin fight. Yeah, you know, um, I felt like it was a close fight, but I felt like I did enough to pull it off. You know, um, it, it, it was my fault for uh, making it that close, but I still feel like I, I did enough to, to pull it off. You you feel even more uh, that you won the fight after watching than actually being in there as well? Correct. Yeah, especially you know after watching it and. And that looking at the scorecards and, and seeing that I did some of the most effective BBC, rounds and the rounds that that, that that were that were given to him, you know. But that's not in the past, you know. I'm just focused on Saturday night, and I'm focused on my opponent, uh, Johan Gonzalez. Most likely, you would have fought for a world title, probably had you won that fight. Now, what's the, the outlook? You know, 2024 going forward. How many fights you think you need to kind of get back there? I'm trying to show that. I'm trying to show this Saturday that um, I'm ready now. You know that there was no reason to take a step back. You know that I'm 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 here and um, that's what I'm here to show. Jesus, talk to us about the main event. We've got a hungry young challenger, Jaime Munguia, coming to town versus Canelo Alvarez. We've seen Canelo Alvarez come through time and time again. What makes Munguia the best opponent for Canelo right now? Uh, I mean, the fact that he's hungry. He is hungry. Um, he's got he's got a great chin. You know, he's tough. And he can, he can, he can, you know, he hits hard, he's cracked, man, so it's a, it's a pretty big uh, fight for Canelo, and he's Mexican, you know, so that's a big fight in Mexico, and uh, it's an exciting fight. And let's going to do one question down here, and then we got to wrap. How excited are you to be standing in the 